Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a real brief introduction of the goal seek functionality in Excel. Okay, it's a really useful little algorithm that will kind of reverse calculate what uh, certain cell needs to be in order for some goal cell to be a specified value. Okay, and I'll illustrate what I mean in a real simple example that probably relates to all of us because we've all been through some level of schooling where we wanted to figure out what grade we have to get on the last exam in order for our final grade to be let's say an 85 or a 90 or whatever grade we were trying to get to okay so the way you set this up is with this little example first I would have to compute what this final grade, how this final grade would actually be computed. Okay, Excel needs to know how you're computing this goal cell over here, which is cell F3. This is our goal cell. This is where we want to tell Excel, you know, what our goal is, and it'll reverse calculate what we need to get on test five in order to achieve this goal. Okay, but before we do any of that, we have to compute this final grade with what we have so far, including what we don't have yet, which is test number five. Because let's say we just took it and or we're taking it tomorrow and we kind of want to know, kind of gauge what we need on that exam to achieve some kind of, uh, some kind of final grade. Okay, so the way you would let's say to keep it really simple the way that the professor or teacher would calculate your final grade would be to average these five tests okay one of which you do not know yet okay so your current average is 86.25 and that's based on the four tests okay now you want to know what would it take what do I need to do on test five in order to get a 90 okay because you want a 90 and that's your goal right so the way you could do that in Excel is go over to the data tab and in different versions of Excel it will be in generally in the data area so just look for a goal seek it's under what if analysis and a little dialog box will pop up okay if you can't see this right now you might want to uh, increase the resolution I do put up my videos in high def so you can uh, take advantage of a full screen although I do know it takes a little bit longer to look okay so it's really simple it's got three parts the set cell is the is the goal cell the cell that you want to achieve a certain number okay and that will be in our case cell F3 our final grade and to value is what's that goal in our case we said 90 right so we type in 90 by changing and the only thing we can change in this case is our test 5 score because we haven't uh, that's the only one out of the five tests that isn't written in ink in the teachers uh, grade book okay right now it's at it's not there so it's changing the cell from being nothing to what it needs to be in order for us to achieve a 90 here okay then hit a OK and Excel will do run its goal seek algorithm and give you back what you need to get on test 5 here we go and you need a hundred and five to get a 90 final grade of 90 on this in this class okay which is for most people impossible okay so in this example maybe we should have lowered the goal the final grade to something that was actually feasible okay so we could run it again and this will actually be a good exercise because really the point here is how to run this and why we're running it and uh, just some of the basic functionality so again we go to the data tab what if analysis goal seek we set the goal cell let's set it to something more reasonable maybe an 85 right that'll give us a B in most schools by changing test 5 now it doesn't matter that 105 is in there right now 
or whether it was blank and you deleted it first and then ran this it doesn't matter it's gonna change that cell regardless okay so let's hit OK and very quickly Excel returns a score of 80 which is what we would need in order to get a final grade of 85 okay and that's definitely feasible and that might help you uh, in, depending on how much you want to study to achieve the grade that you want okay so this was just a brief introduction to goal seek it can get a little bit more complicated but generally this is the idea behind it and there's not much else to it and this comes up a lot in a lot of introductory uh, uh, computing software courses so check out this video play it again if it was unclear and uh, let me know if uh, there's anything else you want me to cover in Excel check out my channel and my other Excel tutorial videos comment like and uh, practice 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 have a great day